When the largest fund company in the world describes a financial asset as dangerous, it's worth listening to. I'm Jack Otter, editor of Barron's.com. I'm here with Brendan Conway, who writes our Focus on Funds blog. So, Brendan, uh, Larry Fink is getting some notoriety, if that's the right word, for some comments he made about leveraged funds. Uh, before we talk about their, their appropriateness for your portfolio, what did he say about the industry in general? So Larry Fink said essentially um, that, that, that he and his firm, BlackRock, won't build leverage ETFs because they believe there's a structural problem in them, in his words, that could, uh, quote unquote, blow up the entire industry. That's and, what he said without elaborating. And we should point out that a leveraged ETF is one that borrows to try to boost returns. So often you get two or three times that day's return in the market. Exactly. Now, it's important to note that BlackRock doesn't actually sell these things. Other firms, power shares, and some others sell them. So to a certain extent, he could be talking his book here, right? I think you definitely have to keep that in mind whenever these pretty high-powered executives attack one structure or another. There may be some truth in there. There's probably some self-interest, too. More importantly, of course, what does this mean for the individual investor? Uh, you and I have long warned people that these things don't always act like they think they will. Um, you don't get three times, say, the monthly performance of the S&P. It only works on a daily basis and can turn against you pretty quickly. Uh, but the bottom line is this guy says they're bad for the market. What do you think they are for people? Yeah, you know, Jack, I, 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 I think he's pushing, pushing sort of the evidence that he has to say that they're bad for the market since they did survive the financial crisis. To answer your question, though, for people, uh, people who, who are trading these and hoping for big gains, I mean, there are PhDs who will tell you that they can't figure out with, with that much predictability where they're going to go over a span of more than a couple of weeks, uh, over a span of more than a couple of months because of the complex math involved in them. For most small-time investors, there's just no reason to be there. So even if you know what the market's going to do, which you don't, uh, these things could still go in the wrong direction. That does happen. In fact, it does, yes, because the trend matters a lot for these things. Because of the way that it rebalances every day, um, you, you could have a great up day one day and then a down day and another down day. And, you know, the back of the envelope math might tell you you should be up, but because of the way that these are built, it, it might not be. Uh, now, there's another kind of fund that's gaining in popularity, and these are bank loan funds in a world starved for yield. Bank loans look pretty good, and I think they go up as interest rates go up. But these two can be dangerous in ETF form? That was Fink's other item there, and I, I, I do feel as though there's a little bit more uh, to, to sort of chew on there. He said that they wouldn't build one themselves. Now, BlackRock previously has warned that because that underlying bank loan market is not as liquid as an easy-to-trade exchange-traded fund, what happens when everyone wants to sell all at once? It's easy to sell the ETF. It's not easy to sell those bank loans. So uh, there, there, there could be some disappointment ready uh, baked in there. Disappointment sounds like a euphemism. If, if, these th if everybody runs for the exit at once, your ETF could be worth even less than the bank loan, which is also falling, right? Yeah, and you know, really, that's what's supposed to happen to a closed-end fund, which uh, the market price of it swings around. It's not supposed to happen, at least as most investors view them, to ETFs. In fact, that's what people love about ETFs, right? Mm-hmm, exactly. Thanks very much, Brendan. Thanks, Jack.